We all expect propulsion of the future to be based on ion emissions. Even today, ion propulsion solutions like the one developed by Enpulsion are ready to tackle complex tasks. In order to focus on the slightest area of the Earth's surface, small observation satellites require extremely precise thrust maneuvers. Such requirements can be met only with innovative and safe thruster solutions. This is why Enpulsion uses Field Emission Electric Propulsion, also known as FEEP. Here is how a FEEP thruster works. The metal propellant is liquefied in orbit, and a strong electrostatic field extracts, ionizes, and accelerates the propellant from the ion emitter. The extraction process requires high local field strength, which is achieved by using the field-enhancing effect at the apex of sharp needles. When applying the electric field to the liquefied metal propellant, a so-called tailored cone is formed on top of the emitter needle. Ion emission occurs at the apex of this cone, Ions are then accelerated by the same field used for extraction and ionization, making this process very efficient. Electrons emitted from a neutralizer rush to meet with the ions. The beam becomes neutralized to maintain charge stability of the spacecraft. Impulsion thrusters use the metal indium as propellant. It does not require safety valves or pressurization. Installation can be as simple as connecting a simple cable. Emitted propellant is replaced in a fully passive manner by capillary forces. These forces maintain propellant supply from the reservoir up to the emitter tips, relying on surface tension of the propellant itself. A FEEP thruster, therefore, does not require any external forces like pressurization or pumps. We applied the FEEP technology for the first time in our nano thruster. With less than one unit in size, less than one kilogram in mass, and only 40 watts of power demand, it fits in even the smallest satellites, but can be easily bundled together as a module for satellites with a higher thrust demand. In 2018, the Impulsion Nano became the first FEEP thruster to be tested in space. Many more have been launched into space since. The Impulsion Nano family is available in several modifications, offering different degrees of robustness and flexibility. They all share the advantages of the Nano family. Very high specific impulse, compact design, and a simplicity of integration. In 2020, Impulsion brought to the market its next generation thruster the Micro R3. With an input power of 120 watts, it produces up to 1.2 millinewtons of thrust and provides up to 50 kilonewton seconds of total impulse, which makes it particularly adapted to small and medium-sized spacecraft. It can be launched safely on any rocket as it contains no pressure vessels or energetic chemical. The thruster and propellant are all contained in a 14 by 12 by 10 centimeter module, bolted directly to any flat panel. No accommodation for a separate tank or fluid piping is required. Whether it is to precisely position constellation satellites, avoid space debris, or explore the universe, Impulsion is there to provide mobility.